Good afternoon. This is the 24th of June, and this is Fiona's little kids. They are not so little anymore, they're getting big. They are bouncy and playful and just crazy busy. They are totally going in and out of the door on their own and down three steps of stairs to go outside to potty. They no longer potty in their cubicle with their mother. So that was a relief to her. She now uh, doesn't have to clean up all their feces <laughs> anymore. Um, these guys are doing great. They're eating dry dog food. Um, they're in everything. Oh, this one found a leaf. He says, this is pretty good. I think I can eat this one. This one's arguing with a stuffed toy. They are cute as buttons. Um, golly, they're current on everything they can have so far. And they were being, they'll be spayed and neutered on the 7th. And they can go home anytime at all from their eight week birthday on and or three days after their spay neuter. Um, if it's not close to um, their eight week birthday. Or so long as it's close, I should rephrase that to their eight week birthday. Um, golly, what can I tell you? Uh, these guys are used to a bath. They are not in the house yet, so they're not, we, we, we're just really letting them be a puppy with their mom. We're not teaching them anything other than to, you know, interact with us. They love to play with people. They'll probably just follow me around this fence because I'm talking and they can see me. Um, when you get them home, please don't worry when they eat all the grass they can consume. They chew on sticks. They'll eat little rocks. That is a puppy. They are going to want to chew on everything under the sun, so the more you can give them hard to chew on, the better off you're going to be because we'll help them teeth and cut those baby teeth. Or, I mean, cut the adult teeth. They've got their baby teeth in now. Um, raw bones are absolutely awesome. I love raw bones. We do not cook them. We do not warm them up. We get them from our local butcher, and basically they get them absolutely raw with the tendons the fat and the bone marrow in the center uh, my favorite bones are shank bones or they're also called femur bones or leg bones and for a puppy this size you really don't want it any longer than about two inches so if you have a butcher that will custom cut them for you that is awesome the second one that I like that I can't get as much is the rib bones. Uh, beef rib bones are quite long. They're up to 18 to 24 inches. So I have them cut those in six inch strips. Um, the nice thing with a rib bone, as your dog ages, it is actually strong enough to eat the entire bone. So it'll chew it up and actually devour the whole bone. It will not hurt the puppy. The only way it'll hurt the puppy is if you cook it. And once you cook it, I <laughs> can't walk with the grass. You change the chemistry of the bone and uh, also the chemistry of the fat and that's what's really hurts the dog it's the fat that's been cooked in anything that we eat for human consumption because you can give them pancreatitis very very easily so please stay away from anything you eat that's been cooked that has grease in it which that does not you know that knocks out pizza anything off the table you have prepared with gravies or anything at all that's been cooked just don't do it I have a lot of people every year do lose their puppy from pancreatitis. So this weekend, um, I think it's Monday, they're going to start on their safeguard worming. They're also going to, when they come inside, they will get their first dose of revolution. I'm not sure what date yet we're going to do that, and that is your heart guard medication. Uh, we give them their first dose here, that way you do not have to do a blood test that saves you 40 to 60 bucks and they've already had their first dose of heart guard uh, and we use revolution which is a topical so I've got some places for you on the list you can get things cheaper and you can get them without a prescription um, and it's all the name brand meds so I'll give you that when you pick up your puppy or if we're sending you your puppy you're going to get it on your supply list so um, I'm sending out those videos tonight so you'll be able to see those and uh, your supply list. I don't tell you everything on it. it. takes too long on the video, but I will tell you about the list, and I also will 
um, give you a copy of that list in your puppy packet when I send it to you this week. But you can tell there's been quite a change since last time we did this. That's the purple collar puppy on the right. The neon orange collared puppy laying down eating the mud and the grass. And that's the little pink neon collared puppy on the bottom of this argument. And the white collared merle on top. Over here is, what has she got? I can't tell. She's not going to turn around. The puppy with the purple toy has the navy blue collar that the toy is getting the best of him. Says, oh no, I'm just going to lay here. I'm crushed. Nope, I'm up and going. Yep, I know I hear you. You can't get to my feet. I'm wiggling my feet. Well, I'm shaking the camera too, so it's making me mad. Uh, let's see who I have on a hat. Uh, the little forest green collar puppy is the white one right here with the, the um, white on both sides, or the chocolate on both sides of her face. And now we're going to have a tug of war. I put a rope out there so they'd have a tug of war and nobody decided to do it. They're a little bit young yet, but next week it'll be crazy. And we have the, the puppy that looks like a fandom but is turning colors, and she's back on the bottom. She is um, the neon pink collar. She's a puppy that's very calm. She likes to watch. She really doesn't want to make them. She hates to be picked on, and they do. <laughs> Probably because she's the littlest. Somebody always jumps on her, knocks her down. Um, I'm surprised she doesn't have big dog syndrome yet, but she doesn't. But she likes to just kind of do her own thing. She interacts and plays like you can see her doing now, but usually somebody gets the best of her because she's little. Oh, I hear you. That's the orange collar puppy talking to me. What do you think? I know, your tail's going 90 mile an hour and you can't get to me. I know, I'm going to make you all cry doing this, aren't I? Yep. They are so ornery, it's pathetic. Hey, can you show me your face? <laughs> the only way I get them hold still is make a strange noise. The girls that work for me say I can make all kind of weird noises. <laughs> I hear you. Yep, I know you're talking. I shouldn't tease you through the fence. There she's laid down with the rope. Now somebody's going to come take it away from her. No, nope. she's got it for a minute. All right, well, I'm going to close for now. I hope everybody has got to see a really good picture of their puppy. Hey, look at me, Orny. Oh, there she goes. She got knocked down again. Hey! Hey! Nope, we're going to argue. She gets fed up with them and tells them what, what it's all about. She gets them off the top of her. Hey! Psst! Psst! Hey, have they got you down? Huh? Have they got you down? She says, I can get up. Just watch me. Hey, Ornries. Look up here. Nope, she says, I'm gone. Let's see if I can get a look down here. Where you at? There you are. She says, I'm gone. All right, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, we'll get you another video next week, and I hope to have all your... Oops, I'm sorry. My finger on it. I swear I hate that. And uh, I'll get you a new set of pictures this week, and we'll do a new video next week. So talk to you later. If you have not booked in for Puppy Pickup, please call me and do so. Have a good weekend. Where are you at? Who's down here? These two are laying down here playing calmly. This is okay. That's over with. See you later.